The hybrid dog breed American Bully, also known as American Bully Pit, Bully Pit Bull, and Bully Pit, comes in a variant called American Bully XL. There have only been a few generations of this breed. It was actually bred for the first time in the 1980s and 1990s. The goal was to breed a suitable family dog and companion. American Pitbull Terrier and American Staffordshire Terrier were crossed to generate American Bully. The ensuing litter was later selectively bred to produce what is now known as the American Bully. The American Bully Kennel Club, AKBC, and the United Kennel Club both first recognized it as a breed, UKC. The history of the XL Bully Pit, its dietary needs, temperament, and behavior are all covered in this comprehensive reference to the American Bully XL. We will also talk about their breeding and the value of their bloodline. The ABKC has divided the American Bully into four kinds. The dog's height is the sole criterion for classification. Weight is not taken into account. The several American Bully breed variations are divided as follows. Standard, a canine of medium size with a solid build. American Bullies are 17 to 20 inches tall at the wither in standard size. Dogs with a wither height of 14 to 17 inches are considered pocket. XL, a more substantial version of the regular American Bully. Classic, the standard model in the same size, but with a lighter frame. Additionally, there are unapproved types that are either larger or shorter than those accepted by the ABKC. These variants include micro or XXL sizes. Size requirements for an adult male American Bully XL are 20 to 23 inches, 51 to 57 centimeters at the withers, and 19 to 22 inches for females, 48 to 54 centimeters. It's crucial to remember that all variations of American Bullies are members of the same general breed. The same body type and build apply to XL Bullies as they do to standard American Bullies. The American Bully XL must possess the following essential characteristics to be considered a member of this breed. Blocky slash heavy heads, the head is typically modest in length but somewhat wider. They are considerably shorter than the skull, yet they are not brachycephalic, pushed in. The ends of muzzles are either squared off or rounded off. Their bodies are substantially heavier than those of other breeds of comparable size due to their larger bones and thick muscle tissue. Pure muscle makes up the majority of their weight. In actuality, this breed has higher muscle mass than the majority of others. Short legs and tiny heights with significantly longer bodies are key traits of this breed. Dense and succinct body. Bullies have visibly saggy skin on their faces. Their wrinkles also become more obvious as they grow larger. Therefore, XL bullies have skin that is comparatively more wrinkled. Small to medium-sized oval-shaped eyes that are set deeply in the skulls are referred to as deeply set eyes. Scissor bites and lips that fit tightly, although this breed possesses close-fitting scissor bites and lips, they are not very tight. When breeding XL American Bullies, breeders usually pay attention to two factors. Authenticity comes first. Bullies are required to adhere to breed criteria. The health and temperament of this breed are also important factors. Good conduct is crucial because this breed's goal is to be a dependable and amiable family dog. The XXL is another substantial American bully, same like the XL. Because it is bigger than the XL version, ABKC cannot identify it. The XXL belongs to the category of unofficial variants. The tallest variety of this breed, known as the American Bully XXL, is at least 23 inches tall at the withers. With the exception of size, the XXL Bully shares the same pleasant disposition and anatomical features that we love about bullies. However, there might be very tiny differences in terms of appearance. Although the XXL size and other variations of the breed are all identical, it is more challenging to create an actual XXL Bully dog. Breeders must pay close attention to even the slightest characteristics and qualities of the canines they produce. 
A contributing factor is that XXL variations are less true to the American bully breed since they contain DNA from other breeds, such as bull mastiffs. As a result, compared to standard or pocket breeds, XXL-sized dogs rarely take home any prizes at open dog competitions. If you're fortunate enough to possess an American bully, you should be aware of what it needs to eat. A balanced diet enhances the likelihood that your bully will live a long and healthy life. American bully puppies need a diet high in protein and fat early in their lives. This is essential for their developing body as well as for strong bone and muscular growth. However, while eating a balanced diet is vital, heredity is considerably more significant in determining the dog size and build. Instead of their food, XL-sized bullies' huge size is primarily a result of their forefathers' genetic composition. The weight of an American bully XL can range from 80 to 150 pounds. Your dog's calorie requirements can vary greatly. So it's best if you adhere to a diet strategy specifically designed by a veterinarian for your bully that is well-balanced. When you give your dog homemade slash raw food, the calorie breakdown becomes more difficult to understand. However, if you're using packaged dog foods, you only need to read the labels to figure out how many calories are in each serving. The same nutritional balance must be provided in every American Bully's diet. But because the XL is such a large dog, it need more to meet its nutritional needs. Animals have no issues eating a raw diet, even if it is bad for people. Raw foods like these are suitable for your dog. Yogurt vegetables organs fruits fresh meat eggs your greatest bet is actually raw food from organic and natural sources because of all the several diets you may pick from raw food has the most nutritional content overpackaged meals also have numerous additional health advantages over raw foods it increases the longevity of your bully, boosts immunity, reduces the risk of sickness, and enhances reproductive capacity. Additionally, raw food promotes good tooth and gum development as well as the development of the neck and shoulder muscles in developing American bullies. There's a catch, though. A raw food diet has drawbacks of its own. Unlike pet food that is packaged, raw food carries the risk of bacteria and illnesses like Salmonella and E. coli. In addition, creating a well-balanced raw diet is challenging. Therefore, it is best to consult a veterinarian when creating the ideal diet, or at the very least, ask a friend who has more expertise with the Raw American Bully XL diet for guidance. To guarantee the healthy development of their strong bodies, American Bully XL dogs require a nutritious food. A high-quality diet consisting primarily of meat is promised by premium dog meals. They may not be as nutrient-dense as a raw or home-cooked food, but they are well-balanced and meet all of your dog's nutritional needs. From budget-friendly to incredibly pricey brands, packaged dog foods are available. Although more costly brands tend to be superior, this is not always the case. Before selecting a brand, you should always do extensive research to make sure you're getting your money's worth. The following are some of the top premium dog food manufacturers. Origin. Akana. The most cost-effective premium brand is Taste of the Wild, while Origin and Akana are expensive options. Some companies market dog diets that are formulated for bullies. This is merely a marketing ploy. The benefits of well-known premium dog foods that are merely high in proteins for your American Bully XL are superior. Dog food cooked at home. The main advantage of homemade dog food is that it is manufactured under your close observation. As a result, you are completely aware of what is being fed to your XL Bully. You can modify the components and substitute products in homemade meals to enhance your Bully's nutrition. This is accomplished by giving it more lean meat to eat. If you choose, you can raise the fat content to keep your dog's mass. A handmade diet could include veggies, pies, raw bones, soups and meat broth, meaty stews, vegetables, and vegetables. 
When creating a diet plan, you can also decide on a variety of meats, such as chicken, turkey, beef, etc., or a combination of them. Even nevertheless, homemade meals are preferable than expensive dog feeds because they don't contain byproducts, fillers, artificial substances, or preservatives. However, these meals provide unique difficulties. The primary drawback of homemade meals is the time required to make them. The time required to make multiple meals each day is quite rare among dog owners. Second, if the dog owners are unfamiliar with making homemade meals, it might be difficult to determine the proper nutritional balance. Therefore, it is suggested that you create a food plan with the assistance of a specialist and adhere to it religiously. For American Bully XLs, failure to offer the right nutritional balance can have negative effects. Certain biological requirements of dogs, such as the improvement of cognitive abilities, eyesight, brain development, bone strength, skin and coat upkeep, etc., are met by vitamin and mineral supplements. American Bullies require a sufficient amount of essential micronutrients, much like other breeds. However, this does not imply that all bully owners should supplement the food of their XL American Bully. It's important to evaluate the necessity and conduct research on the appropriate supplements. A surplus of these nutrients may be harmful to the health of your bully. Similarly, taking steroid-containing products to increase muscle mass can result in long-term negative effects like compromised immune system, heightened allergic responses, gaining weight, diabetes, clotting dysfunction, alopecia, hair loss, hair loss. As long as supplements make up for dietary shortages in your dog, they will be beneficial. When American bullies are fed raw or homemade diets, supplements are frequently required. This is due to the fact that these diets, unlike commercial dog foods, are nutritionally unbalanced. The deficits in these diets are balanced by additional minerals and vitamins. Additionally, if your bully isn't feeding correctly, you could require them. Multivitamins can work wonders if the animal's diet is deficient if it isn't eating enough meat for any other cause. Additionally, supplements are even more crucial if Pet Bully Pit has a medical problem that calls for a specialized supplement, like osteoarthritis or dermatosis. They are crucial for XL types as they age because of their huge size and high joint stress. Vitamins The vitamins have a number of advantages. The immune system of your pet is strengthened by vitamin E, and the maintenance of healthy skin and a glossy coat need vitamin A. Minerals and minerals are essential for healthy development, particularly in pups. To avoid mineral deficiency, your bully's food must contain potassium, sodium, phosphorus, magnesium, and chloride. Protein, a healthy coat and the development of muscles are both aided by proteins. As your XL bully ages, glucosamine and chondroitin are a fantastic supplement to prevent hip and joint issues. Omega-3 fatty acids are a tried and true supplement for a variety of animals. It benefits inflammation, painful arthritis, renal and heart health, trainability, increasing your bully attitude, Omega-6 fatty acids essential supplements. Omega-6 fatty acids are found in practically all high-quality dog diets. The advantages they offer are as follows. Battle infections. Keeping a glossy coat and healthy skin. It is crucial to emphasize the risks of a vitamin or mineral overload. If given in excess, they may result in more deadly outcomes for you bully or produce symptoms like diarrhea. How active should American Bully XLs be? For American Bully XLs, exercise is a need. This breed requires exercise to keep healthy as well as a constructive outlet for its energy. Exercise is important for your dog's happiness and has the following advantages. Gives a constructive energy outlet and controls harmful conduct. Helps keep your American Bulldog active and nimble. Reduces constipation and digestive issues. Helps hesitant or mellow dogs become more active. Bullies that engage in a lot of physical activity become exhausted, which promotes sound sleep. 
It aids in weight management and prevents your bully pit from gaining weight. It's true that American bullies are far more active than we are, and for some owners, this might become tedious. Many people believe that American bullies and their powerful bodies should receive adequate yard time. The truth is that, especially if you have a tiny backyard, a bully will likely just hang around outside until you call it inside rather than rushing around the yard. Having a partner to interact with is crucial for American bullies. Spring Pool, this toy keeps your dog occupied and provides for lots of exercise without requiring any effort from you. Spring Pools give your dog a great workout and keep them occupied for hours. Another activity that pampers your dog is Flirt Pool. You do have to swing the Flirt Pool around as your dog tries to catch the toy at the end. Even if you don't have much space, you can still engage in the Flirt Pool and Spring Pool in your backyard. Weight Pulling for a very long time, the canine community has been split over the globally recognized sport of dog weight pulling. It features a particularly trained dog that is attached to a sizable wheeled cart by a customized harness. The dog is intended to draw the cart with his or her body weight, power, and energy while it is laden with bricks, mortar, or concrete. You should concentrate on other games that require your bully to run around and really stretch out those muscles in addition to these. These include bubble chasing, catch, and hide and seek. Even better if your dog has a playmate is if your dog enjoys interacting with other dogs. You can set up playdates with other dogs in the neighborhood to encourage your dog to become more sociable and establish new friends. The dog walks are a must do last but not least. It is crucial that you report for work for at least 30 minutes each day. In particular for large XL-sized bullies, it is a crucial component of a healthy lifestyle. American bully bloodlines are important. It's crucial to understand a dog's pedigree or ancestry, especially when it comes to hybrid breeds like the American bully. A child's genetic makeup and physical makeup depend on both the parents and the entire family tree. On canine genetics, there is actually a wealth of literature. The majority of bully breeders who are only interested in making money by two pricey dogs breed them and refer to the offspring as a bloodline. They are completely mistaken. Reputable breeders like Razor's Edge start off with a very precise set of traits in mind. However, it's highly ambiguous to suggest that your bloodline is intended to produce a large dog like an XL bully. You are leaving opportunity for flaws unless you focus on extremely specific characteristics like bone density, muscle volume, muzzle and skull size, or height. Lacking sufficient knowledge of the subject, a breeder will be unable to define what they need, leaving their kennels susceptible to deformities and health problems that will take generations to resolve. A true bloodline combines great blood with distinctive traits that are unique to your kennel from the beginning. Why is using various bloodlines important? In order to start breeding, you will need foundation dogs. Razor's Edge dogs or Remyline bloodline should be considered if you're going for a more genuine or conventional look. On the other hand, if you want to produce a bloodline with a more extreme appearance, you should consider the Godline, Corrupt Line, as well as more recent kennels that are breeding Razor's Edge. There is a long list of recognizable lineages among American bullies. Just a few of them are as follows. Abel Paws, Blue King, G-Line, Metal Man, Beastie G, Watchdog. There are many other bloodlines than these few. But why are there so many different bloodlines? In actuality, kennels pursue certain traits they seek in a breed. And after conducting extensive research, they begin breeding several American Bulldog bloodlines until they achieve the desired outcomes. It is possible for this process to take up to 20 years, but the outcome is definitely worth the effort. Everything has become a commodity in the modern era. Breeders of American bullies are the same way. There are some breeders who are only interested in making a quick buck and want to sell pricey puppies without knowing much about the bloodlines. Unfortunately, many people are duped by their tactic of relentless marketing. 
On the other hand, knowledgeable breeders invest years in studying the genetics of a specific breed. They are knowledgeable and are aware of what works and what doesn't. But more crucially, there is little risk of genetic flaws in their canines, who are in fantastic health. Additionally, because they have a thorough understanding of the history of bully pit lineages, their pedigree is far more real. We should definitely highlight a few renowned American Bully XL bloodlines from respectable breeders, in my opinion. By Corrupt Blood, Corrupt Blood Panic. Razor's Edges Hammer Bammer. They both started the American Bully XL breed. Due to the XL variety's relative rarity, not many breeders have established a reputation for their XL bloodlines. Raising American Bully XL Puppies. It's crucial to have knowledge on the answers to questions like which stud to pick, how much to invest, the market price of bullies, etc. before breeding American Bully XLs. Choosing a male dog for an American Bully XL. Contrary to popular belief, you don't need to purchase a stud to begin your breeding company. That is correct. In fact, it is wise to start out by purchasing merely the female and then upgrade. Most breeders of American Bullies provide a stud service. We strongly advise beginner breeders to use this service as opposed to purchasing their own stud. Of course, there are valid justifications for this. It's possible that the American Bully XL stud puppy you purchase won't live up to your expectations. Studs for houses can be quite expensive. However, selecting a stud service has several advantages. Using a well-known stud will make it easier to sell the resulting litter at the price you want. With the stud you obtained your female from, you can engage in line breeding. Using American Bully XLs for line breeding. If a kennel is producing quality dogs, breeders want to consistently produce puppies with the same characteristics. Breeding dogs that are closely related in order to produce a litter with a consistent set of characteristics is known as line breeding. Let's now talk about the process of line breeding. Look for a breeder with two desired American Bully XL sibling studs. Buy a female puppy from the stud's younger sibling and freeze the stud's brother's sperm. Buy enough straws to cover three breedings. When your puppy is mature enough to breed, you can start using the frozen straws you purchased to line breed your dog. Remember that while line breeding results in predictable litters, breeding close relatives is strongly discouraged. It is therefore preferable to breed the female with the father's brother. In addition to producing predictable litters, this will lower your dog's risk of having recessive genes. You can utilize it as your own stud when you eventually have your own adult male canines. An American Bully XL will typically cost between $2,500 and $5,000. However, there is no denying that this breed exhibits large price variances. So let's discuss what they charge for their products. American Bully XLs are generally quite expensive. Due to their rarity, they are more expensive than standard varieties. The pedigree also affects how much an XL Bully costs because a champion bloodline can fetch three times as much as the typical breed selling price. However, the costs increase as you start looking at better bloodlines and bullier dogs. Now, you might easily spend up to $10,000 on a decent American Bully XL, depending on the structure, accomplishments, bloodline quality, and lineage. Many bull breeders use aggressive and highly alluring marketing strategies online, including viral campaigns, alluring films, etc. Don't let it trick you. Instead, pay attention to the puppy's health genetics, reputation, bloodlines, and quality. Who should wear American Bully XLs? The demeanor of an American Bully XL is often quite friendly, and they make wonderful companion animals. In actuality, they have some physically aggressive traits while being designed to be family dogs. Additionally, an American Bully XL has a friendly disposition toward strangers, kids, and the elderly. An offspring of the American Pit Bull Terrier is the American Bully breed. Pit Bulls were historically bred to be fighting dogs, but American Bullies were not. As a result, American Bullies frequently draw in young people who are looking for a dog with eye-catching physical characteristics and a sociable personality. FAQs for American Bully XL 
Everything necessary to get you started with this breed has already been covered. Let's now talk about some often asked questions about this breed. Do American Bully XLs pose a threat? Not at all, in fact. American Bully XLs are amiable dogs who never bite unless their families are in danger. Children or other dogs are not randomly attacked by them. Furthermore, the American Bully breed is not prohibited in the UK or any other nation, unlike American Pit Bull Terriers. Given the right training and socialization, an American Bully XL will most likely be outgoing, inquisitive, friendly, and unlikely to display any form of aggression. What is the weight of an American Bully XL? The weight of an American Bully can vary from 80 to 120 pounds. The weight may vary due to variations in height, width, extreme varieties typically have a much wider stance, bone structure, and skull size. Additionally, an American Bully XL's weight is influenced by its muscle mass and the type of diet it consumes. Are American Bully XL's breeds that the AKC recognizes? The American Kennel Club does not recognize American Bully XL's AKC. This is because the American Bully is a relatively new breed. The American Bully Kennel Club, ABKC, and the United Kennel Club, however, do recognize the American Bully XL, UKC. When the ABKC was established in 2004, it recognized the American Bully XL. The first official American Bully registry was the ABKC. Much later, on July 15, 2013, the UKC finally recognized this breed as a legitimate breed. U.S. Bully XL versus XXL Technically, American Bully XL and XXL belong to the same variety. The XL Bully typically stands 20 to 23 inches tall at the wither. Bullies who are taller than that are known as Giant Bullies or XXL Bullies. But when viewed from a different angle, these two distinctions are merely marketing ones. I'll explain. Some breeders go after buyers looking for real American Bully XLs that are approved by the ABKC and eligible to compete in dog shows. On the other hand, some folks simply desire a distinctive, exotic dog. Breeders use these minute variations to market their dogs as XL or XXL varieties in order to sell their dogs to the highest bidder. Pitbulls versus American Bully XL. Pitbull is an ambiguous moniker that denotes a breed that originated from Bulldogs and Terriers. There are several mixed breed or purebred Pitbulls that have characteristics similar to Bulldogs or Bull Terriers. Pitbulls and American Bullies are distinct breeds, though. Bully type breeds that are officially recognized include a Staffordshire Terrier from the United States. American Pit Bull Terriers, as well as Dog Breed, Staffordshire Bull Terrier. An increasingly common mixed breed dog is the American Bully, of which the American Bully XL is a subtype. Breeding Pit Bull Terriers with American Staffordshire Terriers produced the animal known as American Bully, Amstaff. Most Pit Bulls weigh 30 to 60 pounds and range in height from 17 to 21 inches. As the name suggests, American Bully XL dogs are bigger, with males standing 20 to 23 inches tall at the withers and females between 19 and 22 inches. The weight range of American Bullies XLs is 80 to 150 pounds. Pit Bulls are highly intelligent, agile, and obedient dogs that were historically bred as fight dogs. American Bullies can be recognized by their muscular build and hostile posture. However, they are calm by nature and make wonderful family dogs. Undoubtedly beautiful dogs, American Bully XLs are perfect for those who adore a muscular dog. The Dela Cruz White Dragon 5150 Bully has actually pulled a massive 11,806 pounds, so these muscles and strong joints aren't just for show. Furthermore, these dogs truly live up to the moniker man's best friend thanks to their outgoing personalities.